Creek and Freeza State Wagon, the largest wagon ever made. I built this car dealing with all the things that are going on in my life and other people's lives and around me. And I have brought it from the bottom all the way back to the top. And now we're starting to show what's going on. Well, I appreciate everybody that's tuning in. Pay attention to what I got going on. It's got 26 inch rims on it. Six sixty-eight, four sixty or four hundred four fifty-four, big block engine. It's got the big radiator. It's got the skull headlight covers. It's got the LHD lights. I put the double bumper guards on it because it's a big boy. It's a grown man car. It's not a little boy car. And I'm telling you something. All the grill is clean. The rear car on the front end. We get the bumpers. Now with this head blower. I, put, I built this off of scratch because I was tired of seeing all the on the plain James. I wanted something, something different. So now you're starting to see what it is. It opens up, breeze, all that same thing. And now, dealing with the engines, like I said, we're pretty much going with just what you see and what you got going on here with these engines. I mean, it's, it's a big block. And I mean, I built this car. Pretty much because I had a lot going on in my life and I knew a lot of people got those things going on in their life. And now with all the situation, it's got the big hood scoop on it. Like most of them does. Anniversary state wagon because in another two more years I'll be 50. This is one of them that I built. It's got personal heritage to it. And I like what I have. And I want somebody to understand what's going on. Well, getting to the point, I want the vision consecration double signs because the reason why I did that is because I just like the more, the more management, business look. It gives that point. This roof line, we did it like this because it was, it was a two-tone at one time. We did it at white, we changed it back to black. So now we got it, we got the, rack, the rail racks, rail guards, it's got the bucket seats inside, it's got the wood grain console, it's got the uh, inside there, it's got the 8-track uh, tape player, it still works, it's got the power back window that goes up and down, all that stuff is in it. And it's a nine passenger car. The car came out with the back one, the back seat, the whole set of people here, and it holds three people here. It holds three people in the front and two people in the back. So the vent seat in the front held three people. So you had the six, seven, eight, nine, nine passenger car. It's got the big one. I changed these to the chrome gas cap door. I like the skeletons in the closet when we came across. I like the sound of it. I came up with the name years ago. And the Capri Estate, there's some animals on it. I came up with all the chrome trim that's still on it. And we went back, redid the bumpers. I got the guard. I got my air black window vents. All these names you see on the back back here, leading to these. These are living soldiers, all my soldiers in my corner. These are my soldiers that's passed and gone on. These are my live living advisors and pretty much ones to give me advice about things I should try. Skeletons in the closet with the city born in like that right there, they go back to all the, the older cities that, that we lost back in the day, the blacks had. We, not, we won't never ever see or have again. Skeletons in the closet. Show the, the Devil Punch Bowl, Mississippi, Fort Moss, 1738, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 1921, Rosewood, all these cities that got burnt down over the years. The Continental Wheel, it's got the fifth wheel with the black pearl, and I want the skeleton Chevrolet bow tire because I like the style and it, it fit the, the features what we were designing the car with. It's got the bumper guards on it, the step bumper guards you step up on. This tailgate opens and closes. I'm going to show you.
has the extra power window that controls the, the back window. If you watch and see, you got to keep actually crank, make that window get open. It helps this window because it's a clamshell. The clamshell can work off the power and let the window go up. Let the window go down. And my stuff do work. And back here in the back. In the back of this car. This is where the actual floor jack sits at. And over to the right is where the fifth wheel, the, the spare wheel sits at. And like I say, this car is a nine passenger car. And it has a lot of interest to it. And you see I'm working this with the key. It actually works. So you gonna say uh, he just saw some bogus stuff. No it's bogus. It's got the tail lights, we didn't change nothing. Put the chrome piece back here. And like I say the reason I put these screws in here because back in the day I've lost so many pieces of chrome and I was tired of looking for it and I can barely hard barely find it. So now I just put this on here and go with it. Now like I say this roof this is a black black pearl. It has orange flakes in it. So when you're looking at it from the sun, you'll see the flakes coming through it. Then we got the, the power windows inside of it and all that stuff. So pretty much the trim, the airbrushing, this is all airbrushed. There's no sticker. When Tyrone, my painter, painted this for me. It's personally painted it. All this is airbrushed, no sticker. Trent, this bezels here, I had them dipped in chrome, real chrome. So they got 26s. I customly did the brake motor. They are all personally burnt, done, and pretty much going from that point. So after all that, so like I said, 